them at home and they're going to take care of business tonight against the Wild. Golden Knights have lost three in a row. Wild have dropped three of four. Now Chisholm moves it down. Off to Marco Rossi. Hartman curls down the boards. Pass into the middle. Made it through to Rossi. Looking shot. Jake Thompson. And he was able to take care of the rebound. Sort of position. It's going to go off the skate in front. I think it's Stevenson and right to Rossi. Here's a look at the pass. Oh, it hits Jack Eichel. Skate and goes right to the stick of Rossi. Has a good chance. And now Eichel into the offensive zone with Carlson. You got double team by Faber and Erickson. And Boldy back into the offensive end. Deeds into the middle. Caprice off a chance. And Thompson got a stick on it. Back the other way, Eichel. Odd man short handed. Eichel, Hannafin, Wah, and Wah, put it in the crease and scores on the rebound. Returning to the lineup with a short handed goal for Nick Wah and a 1 0 lead. Well, welcome back, Nick Wah. Empty net, overtime game winner from Jonathan Marcheseau. To reach the 40 goal mark. Erickson Echo backhand. Save Thompson. Rebound loose at the top of the crease. A mad scramble in front. And Eichel clears it. Wait and see what happens. Might need both guys. Stevenson charging in. Of course, Gold Knights used five different goalies last year and it worked out just fine, including two in the playoffs and Lauren Brosuan, Aiden Hill. Johansson lost it for our fan. How's it? Scores! <laughs> Down on the pinch, the loose puck. There's Dorofiev. Look at, there's not much room there. Flurry's moving to his right, but Dorofiev picks the corner right upstairs. That is just a great shot by Dorofiev and the Golden Knights up to nothing here. Just Before net, getting an opportunity against the Oilers, Golden Knights power play sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Samuel Stevenson looking to feed it. Along with Tomas Schertel, Jack Eichel, Jonathan Marchessault, and Noah Hannafin. Eichel leads the Golden Knights with nine power play goals. Hannafin straight away. Eichel on one timer score! A blast from Jack Eichel! Hitting a 30 goal mark for the second time in his career. It's three nothing Golden Knights. Upstairs, doesn't take long. Hurdle parked in front. No Hannafin over to Eichel. And he gets all of that one. Upstairs, over the left shoulder of Flurry. What a shot that is by Jack Eichel for number 30 on the season. That's three goals on five shots. Held in by Letary, but Jay Theodore banks it down ice, tipped in deep. Mark Andre Fleury out to play it, lost it, but loose in the crease. In his previous two years, but like said Logan Thompson is especially early had to be really good and he was well the goal and I you think they still have another gear to get to here just you know out shot the shot attempts 26 11 in favor of Minnesota so Paul Cotter serving the bench minor for too many men and just under 50 seconds left on it Johansson plays it back out to the point to favor and Johansson again favor straight away with a rich shot tap score that's the first NHL goal from Murad Husnadinov. Comes on the power play. Gets Minnesota on the board. Take a look at Husnadinov right in front. This shot is going to come a little bit to the wide. It's going wide. Blocker side on Thompson, and he deflects it back towards the net. Real good shot from the point. There's the deflection right under the left arm of Logan Thompson for his first NHL goal as the Wild are on the board now. It's a 3 1 game. Hannafin to Weichel. Scored his team leading 10th power play goal in the first. Down low, it's Hurdle. Back to Weichel. Hannafin walks in. Stevenson to Marcheseau and he scores! Jonathan Marcheseau rips it home on the power play. because it brings the penalty players. Look, now they're going to react and get aggressive. Great play by Hurdle and Eichel. Now it's the quick play. You spread out the penalty kill, and that opens up a nice little pass. 
as Marchessault so finds that open area right between the hash marks. Little touch pass from Stevenson. Last home game for the Golden Knights. He had a three-point night all in the first period against Vancouver. And he gives them a little bit more of a cushion here in the second tonight with a power play goal. Well, somebody said they got a lead here. You do not sit back, continue to move forward, continue to push, play their game here in the third, learn how to lock down a game with the lead. Here's William Carlson in the offensive zone. He'll fling it wide of the net. Kirill Kaprizov the other way from Minnesota. Matt Boldy charging in against Hannafin. Backhand. Save Thompson. Players for the Wild. Matt Boldy, one of those they're excited about. A nice little move. He had a slow start to the season, up to 27 goals, and it's a good move on Hannafin as he gets inside. Hannafin kind of pushes it aside. Puck around for Hurdle. And I keep it in. Stevenson behind the net, looking. White Cloud, a drive, save, flurry through some traffic. Rebound to Hurdle, scores! Tomas Hurdle snaps home his first for the Golden Knights to open up a 5-1 lead. Watch him protect the puck. He sticks that rear out, protects the puck, pokes it around, keeps it alive, then to the front of the net, his ability to get to loose pucks. He's in front. Battles body position gets to the puck and somehow fires that through Mark Andre Fleury just getting the rebound. Hard work and shift his size, his power, his strength. This is what Bruce Cassidy talked about. He does so well. And here's the play. Find that loose puck, get to it. And he fires it in his 16th of the year. First is a golden eye to Vegas up 5-1. Here's a reaction to Tomas Hurdle. Nearly seven minutes of Gone by in the third. Boldy feeds it in the middle. It'll be a penalty here on the Golden Knights. Delayed call. Bogosian across. Brodine works it down. Boldy to Hartman. Rich shot score. During the delayed penalty, Ryan Hartman hits the 20 goal mark for the second time in his career to make it 5 to 2. Off their own men. Watch Hannafin off to the side as Hartman comes in late. He's the extra man. Gets it to the net. And there's Hannafin. As you can tell, the reaction by him is like, sorry, he deflects that in. It was going wide. So. Marcheseau with a high lob in deep. Now Brodine. Laid it off Barbashev's leg. Hurdle with a chance and a save flurry. And he stopped Marcheseau with a rebound. Cuts back the other way and finds Mantha. Just hopping on is Carlson. Trying to find a lane to the net. Shot off the mask of Flurry. Carlson put it right back into the crease and Flurry got a piece of it. Connor centers. Score! Wyatt Carlson jams it home. It's a six pack for the Golden Knights. Here's the first shot. There's kind of stunned Flurry. The Golden Knights stick with it. See Flurry's adjusting his mask, gets it back on. Here's Carlson. You can see the wild two guys jump to Connor, both Middleton in favor. The two defensemen just vacate the front of the net as Carlson all alone goes five hole. And the Golden Knights. Wide into the Minnesota end, looking. Pulls up against Merrill. Pass to Colasar block. Law stays with it. Goals are charging in behind the net. Trying to work his way loose. Wall wrist shot. Save Flurry. Rebound score! Keenan Colasar joins the scoring parade. Make it a lucky seven. And a 7 2 lead. So make it now 13 goals in the last two home games for the Golden Knights. Six here against Vancouver. Seven tonight against Minnesota. Connor trying to turn Brodin, and Fleury holds tight. That burst of speed by Connor would take care of their own business. The Blues had lost their game to Carolina. They would be able to settle this themselves. Colasar shot that caught some of the post. An emphatic victory for the Golden Knights tonight. The defending Stanley Cup champs will have a chance to defend their championship. They punched their ticket to the postseason in 2024.